I think we could all learn lessons from studying aging because it gives you some guidance as to how to navigate your own way. And th there were a few things that really stood out for me. Older adults are asked, what's the most important variable to living a long, healthy life? It doesn't matter if you're asking the question in Beijing or in Mexico City. People will say, it's the quality of your relationships. It's having friends and loved ones that you can care about and who care about you. The second thing people talk about is the importance of taking care of your body. Um, you know, when you're young, you can kind of get away with murder, sort of, and we do, you know. But once you live 50 or 60 or 70 years, your bad habits catch up with you. So it's never too late to start, but taking proper care of your body through proper body weight and proper nutrition and sufficient rest, we'd all be better off if we did more of that. Third, really important to save. In today's era, most pensions are, have switched to sort of 401ks or 403b kind of uh, frameworks, and people are responsible for their own retirement savings in a time that most people aren't very disciplined around money. So if you're not saving sufficiently, I'm talking about about 15 to 20 percent of your ongoing income for a lifetime, you're going to find yourself in a tough situation when you become the older version of yourself. And last, I'd say, is having some kind of purpose. There are books written about how to live a long life or how much money you'll need, but what are you supposed to do? And I think having a purpose, having some meaning in your life, doing something of value each day, you know, getting up out of your house and giving to others, uh, sharing your knowledge and skills with younger people, remaining relevant, remaining connected, is a very big part of aging well and having a positive retirement.